Today we're going to be comparing contemporary designer versus luxury designer and all of my thoughts about the two and whether or not I think that the thousands of dollars is still worth it when you could spend hundreds of dollars for the same look. Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, how are you? I hope that you are all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I make videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. If that is something that you are interested in, please hit that little subscribe button down below. I would love for you to be a part of our little growing family here. So today is all about the contemporary designer versus the luxury designer. I picked these two because they look very similar in my opinion. They are similar in size, they're similar in color, and they are similar in their puffiness and their little quilted pads on here. Um, so we're gonna talk about price point, we're gonna talk about pros and cons, and then we're gonna kind of have a little bit of a discussion on where I am with luxury designers. So first let's go over our beautiful Tory Burch bag here. This is a Tory Burch soft convertible Fleming bag. She is very squishy and soft. She's leather all over. She does have the beautiful quiltings right here and the double stitching here. You can see the little Tory Burch symbol, which I think is so stunning on there. That was one of the key features as to why I actually purchased this bag. I love the way that looks right on top of there. She doesn't have any feet or a back pocket, but her quilting does go all the way around. She has the look of the Chanel straps with the gold and the leather woven in between. And then she does have the shoulder brake straps for comfort. You can double her up or wear her cross body or long shoulder. When you open her up, she's got a magnetic closure, which is that same beautiful gold color. And then inside, a nice big roomy pocket here, a smaller zip compartment here, and then a nice big roomy compartment here as well with another zip pocket in the back. The interior is like a nylon material, so you can just wipe her out very, very easily. Now let's go over my YSL Small Lulu bag. This one's got the silver hardware, but you can get her in gold hardware as well, and she comes in many different colorways along with the Tory Burch Soft Convertible Fleming. She's got the padded, quilted, this is more of a chevron design, not a quilted design. And then you open her up and she's got the magnetic closure with the silver hardware. Inside, she's got a nice roomy pocket in the front, a zip compartment here, and then another compartment in the back with a little slip pocket back there. She does have the same doubled up shoulder straps and then a nice beautiful chain strap, no back pocket on her and no feet as well. So now that you guys see the different, or you see the comparison and you see that they're very, very similar bags, let's talk about price. This one here retails about $600. I don't remember the exact price, but of course I'm gonna have it popped up on the screen for you guys. And this one here retails for about $2,590, I believe is the correct price. I will have it on the screen as well. So that is pretty much a $2,000 difference between this bag and this bag. Now, I want your guys' honest opinion. Let me know down in the comments below. When you're looking at these two bags side by side, which one of them looks more expensive to you? Honest opinions, let me know down in the comments below. When I am looking at these two bags, I think that they are both absolutely stunning and beautiful, but when I'm looking at them from afar, this one looks more expensive to me, which I find to be very, very interesting. Now let's talk about quality and the difference between a $600 bag versus a $2,500 bag. So we're gonna start with Tory Burch. This bag is about two years old. I don't use her every day, so I've probably used her maybe 40 to 50 times total in the two years that I've had her. And she's got some peeling. So right here, let's see if you guys can see that. She's got some peeling there, and then right here, she, it's starting to show some rubbing. You're probably not gonna be able to see it on camera. Her stitching is perfect. There are zero pop stitches and it looks absolutely beautiful. Nothing looks like it's out of place. The bottom of her looks really, really good. No corner wear that I can see here. And the corners of this flap look really good as well. 
Now the chain does feel very lightweight. Maybe it's an aluminum or something like that. It doesn't even make like that clacking sound that most chains do, um, which is a pro and a con. It's nice that it's lightweight and it's light on your shoulder, but it doesn't feel quality. Same thing with this guy here. You can hear when I'm tapping on it. It doesn't sound like metal at all and it does have scratches all over it. The chain does have some tarnish or some rubbing where the gold has rubbed off of it as well. So the, that's my overall wear and tear that has been on this bag. There's no wear and tear on the interior. It's still very clean and nice and neat and beautiful. Now let's talk about wear and tear on this bag. This bag is four years old. I bought this bag secondhand, so I'm not sure how much the previous owner used it, but it was in really great conditions when I got it. This bag has one little popped stitch right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But other than that, it doesn't have any popped stitches anywhere. The hardware looks really good. There's very minimal scratching to it, but it does have a little bit of scratching on there. The hardware is substantial hardware. It's nice and weighty. Um, but not heavy it's just a nice thick weighted chain the back looks really good there's no corner wear as i as far as i can see the interior is black so i don't see anything wrong with the interior at all and then of course the leather in here looks beautiful as well so and there's no scratching on this little guy either the chain or the uh, zipper is a very smooth zipper and it's holding up beautifully. So this bag is twice the age of this bag. It's probably been used way more than this bag. I don't know for certain, but this bag is definitely showing a lot of wear and tear as this one is not. So now let's talk about my overall thoughts on whether you should go contemporary designer or luxury designer. And unfortunately, I don't have a straight answer for you guys, but I do have some tidbit bits that I feel like might help you. Let's say that you are the type of person that likes to go out and purchase a new bag every three to six months and you like to switch out your bags quite often. I feel like contemporary designer bags are for you. They're at an affordable price point for the most part. Some of them do go up to almost $1,000 these days, but $600 every six months, let's, let's just say that's about $100 a month that you're putting aside for your bag. And it's not going to last super long. So switching your bag out every six months, maybe eight months, maybe one year, somewhere around that timeline is perfect for contemporary designers when you're using the bag every day. Now, if you're not using the bag every day, then of course it's gonna last you much longer than that. You are the type of person that likes to buy one bag to last you a year or two years or three years, luxury designer is for you. You can buy a luxury bag that matches almost all of your wardrobe, wear it every single day and get very minimal wear and tear. It's gonna look brand new a year later. In most cases, not all cases, of course there's different quality issues and that's where you need to do your research. But when you spend $2,500, let's say, on a bag every three years, that is about the same cost as spending $600 on this bag every six months. So you have to figure out what works best for you. Now there is a third party person that I am talking about, and that is me, and that is probably you. Maybe you love luxury. Maybe collecting luxury is your thing. That's what you enjoy spending your money on. You save up for your bags. You like to switch them out. You like to, to go out shopping and you like the whole experience of luxury. My question is for you, are you still feeling that way with the price of inflation? I have to be honest, I am on the struggle bus with whether or not luxury is worth it or for me or not. I'm at the point where I'm definitely going to slow down on my luxury purchase. I've been looking more into contemporary designers. I actually have a Paulin bag on my wish list and a Tory Burch bag on my wish list, but designer bags are reaching close to the $3,000 mark minimum. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. So I have a deal that I have made with myself and hopefully I can stick to it. I'm going to try my very best in 2023 to only buy two luxury bags that year. Just two. That's it. No more. That's going to force me to put a lot of thought into my purchase. It's going to force me to go and try on several bags. And it's going to force me to really, really think it through. I think that by doing this, not only is it going to 
make it more fun, more exciting. I'm not over consuming, but I'm still able to go try on my luxury bags. I'm still able to have that luxury bag experience. I'm still able to add a couple new luxury bags to my collection and maybe a couple of contemporary designer bags as well. This is just for luxury designers. So for luxury designers, two bags, contemporary designers, I am open. But that's what I think I'm gonna do for 2023. Let me know down below, do you guys have any goals for 2023 when it comes to your luxury collection? Mine is definitely to window down, to not overconsume, and to think my purchases through. Now that we have gone over the contemporary designer versus the luxury designer, let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think that contemporary designer is the way to go or are you still on the luxury designer bus? I am definitely in between, literally in between. I'm such a dork. But the contemporary designer and the luxury designer, I like them both and I do feel like 2023 is going to be a good mix of both in my collection. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and letting me know your thoughts. Before you run off, I'm gonna have a video linked here for you and a video linked here for you to check out next. Bye guys.